You understand that's very childish. Yeah. You finding well, enjoyment in frustrating others. That's what children like to do. It's what bullies like to do. You have fly hack before. I've used just about, used just about every cheat software out there, and I've got banned for each one of them. What did you say was the most expensive cheat you purchased? I think I paid about 250 bucks a month. So you can just use the same debit or credit card information over and over again to purchase new Tarkov accounts? Yep, I've been using the same card for the past three years on the thing. Let us just get one thing straight before the interview actually begins. Cheating is not an addiction. This guy may claim to be addicted, but he's using the term incorrectly. Individuals with true addictions would point and laugh at the way this guy is throwing around the word, and honestly, you should too. I also need to state a disclaimer. Take everything this person says with a grain of salt. I did catch him in a couple of lies and half-truths, but I was not always certain whether he was being fully honest or not. If you enjoy the video, please leave a like. Every comment helps as well. Who is ch me? Uh, they're one of the main developers of a cheat software that has ESP and all that kind of shit on it. Oh, okay. Are, are we talking about a private cheat? Like you have to get to know these people before you can use their cheat or what? Uh, it is a private one. They've got a private one that you can apply for, and if they like you, they'll give it to you. Otherwise, they will have the public one, which is meh, I guess you could say. I don't really mind it myself. It's a good one to start with, kind of thing. That's where okay. I started off. Gotcha. And then did you eventually get the private sheet? Yep, I eventually got their private sheet, which is runs quite a bit monthly. Really? How much money a month? As, um, at the moment, it is about 100 bucks a month. 110 USD. So, so you spend that much money every month to cheat? Yep. And the factor in the cost of the accounts, basically, um, VPN over to Russia, or at the moment, because my VPN service has decided to cut Russia out, connect to Ukraine, it gives me the Russian ruble price, which comes out to about 30 bucks, 35 bucks at most. So, so it's $35 to purchase the normal account? Yep. Hasn't that price increased? Or not at all. It's actually kind of dropped recently. Yeah, so so I've heard that before. You you actually you switch regions to purchase the Tarkov account. Well so so let me ask you something. If a Tarkov a developer reached out to you and asked you to expose this private cheating software, would you? No, I actually like it. There's I don't see a reason to expose the them because they're a good company they make the cheat something happens they go oh fuck here's your time back if they're down for a week you get your week back maybe a couple extra days because they're nice kind of thing i honestly like them too much to really kind of expose them so you like this company yep okay um so so who are you may i basically just cheat on parkour i guess you could say i'm just a regular old guy yeah i mean like you you can afford the expense of... Oh, that, that, mate, I am unemployed, I can say that much. I know it sounds pretty bad saying it, but basically where I'm from, Social Security, I guess you could say, over in America. Yeah, that kind of thing. I'm sure people can pick up on my accent and go, oh, he's from here. Yeah. It is a lot, but at the end of the week, I've still got enough money to pay off my bills and shit like that, so it doesn't bother me. How much I spend on it. Okay. Up their prices, I'd still be able to afford it, kind of thing. Actually, the main reason why I wanted to interview you specifically, because I I had maybe thirty five cheaters in my comment section. On uh, first of all, you were respectful. Um, you were about the yeah, only one who was. I don't see a reason to get mad at people because they're calling out cheaters. Fuck, I call myself out all the time. People call me out in a message, like they DM you. I'm like, I'm like, fuck yeah, mate, I'm cheating. What are you going to do? I'm not going to turn around and go, oh, no, mate, I'm not cheating, I'm not cheating kind of thing. There's no fucking point in hiding it. I suppose sort of respectful. I mean, as respectful as cheating can get, that, that I, I guess. So the main reason why I was interested in doing an interview with you is you said that you were addicted to cheating. Like, like this was something that you've wanted to stop in the past, but you, you're just oh, addicted now. Yeah, mate, I... I will officially say that I am addicted to it because it's something, as soon as you do it for one game, 
it drags on to the rest of them. I don't, I can't really name a game that I haven't cheated in, really. Got, really? Yep. So it started off with um, TF2, then I moved on to CSGO, got banned on that a couple of times, and then Battlefield, obviously Call of Duty. And Tarkov rolled around and it's like, oh, you know, may as well see what's out there and fucking get into it. Why? So just to elaborate, why, why do you, why do you cheat? I mean, it's kind of just. Find, I honestly find it fun. It's fun for me to be able to run around with a new guy that I've just met kind of thing, pretend I'm new, play with a longer time player or join a longer time player that's struggling in the raids give them a bit of a confidence boost and go, oh, look, mate, fucking here's all the loot. I'm all right. I've got plenty kind of thing. Mm. All right. Would you say that you're a rage cheater or that you're trying to hide it? Or what do you usually, how do you usually cheat? Me, I use aimbot. I'm not going to lie. Aimbot, obviously, instant headshots. I can run to a wall. Somebody's behind it. Bang, they're already dead. Um, ESP for loot and players and price calculators for it as well so if i'm running through a raid and i see something i don't know what the fuck it is it automatically tells me the price it's worth on the um to the traders gotcha my friend actually mentioned an infinite backpack glitch uh not glitch a cheat someone showed him at one time is that a thing in any of the cheating softwares you've used uh in the past yes there was like ones that you could fly with fuck you remember that one um speed ones as well but they get picked up really easily now um and infinite stamina yeah okay you you have fly hacked before I've used just about use just about every cheat software out there and i've got banned for each one of them kind of thing you know yeah this is a this is a hefty expense that that apparently your hefty government's ex- paying for that's that's kind of funny I when know, you think of it I like that I, I have a separate card, separate bank account, so the government doesn't see it. They just view it as another bill kind of thing. Gotcha. So I get away with it. So if they ever check me fucking logs, it's like, oh, no, he's just paying off a bill every month for 100 and fucking nearly 200 bucks a month. Yeah, that's that's an absurd amount of money. I can say there was a time I think I would have spent about 500 on doing it alone. $500 a month? Australian? Yep. So I, I've never had a lot of money in my life and you're throwing out some insane numbers to me. I, <laughs> I know it sounds like a lot, but you know, sitting on the ass all day, basically apply to a couple of jobs. Government's happy for your money at the end of the week, you know? Jeez, you're, sounds like you're cheating life and also cheating in Tarkov, dude. It happens, you know? It, it does. Yeah. I mean. I guess that's that's one way to think about it. If you're not doing it, someone else is. May as well fucking be me. I'm happy with it. I mean, I piss off a lot of people, obviously, but fuck, I don't care. You don't care about making other people angry. Oh, not at all. I actually kind of find it in, quite funny, just the fact that you get some of the really fucking um, chads that like to rush into the buildings and just a little fucking rat hiding in a corner with the 5-7. Fucking they're already dead as soon as they cross the corner. I'm not trying to be mean here, but you understand that's very childish. So so you, yeah. you finding I, I enjoyment that. in purposefully frustrating others. That's what children like to do. It's what, it's what bullies like to do. I'm not trying to be accusatory or too angry, but yeah, you need no, to no, understand. No, I understand that. Okay. Do you want to change it or are you just like this? Well, I've currently cut down on my cheating for the past couple of months. I think I've kind of done a account a month limit for myself so I don't overspend it. Really? So, so do you play legitimately ever? Maybe once a raid if I'm fucking bored and I want to lose like a red key card or some shit like that. If you, What, what do you mean? Like, I will turn off my cheats completely, launch Tarkov, take in, by that time I've already probably earned about 10 million rubles and I can afford whatever the fuck I want, and I will just take in this fascist kit and just fucking die to a random player. I admit that I'm completely shit at the game. Well, yeah, I mean, generally speaking, you wouldn't need to cheat if you were, if you excelled mechanically. So, I, I know my downfall is that I'm shit at the game, I got annoyed one day, and said, fuck it, I'm just going to try out this one cheat software that I found online, and I think it was made by a Russian company at some point. They've 
later been shut down for some reason. I don't know. So is it fun to cheat? Is that just fun for you? It is fun. I can't deny that at, at all. Hmm. Fun and enjoyable. It's entertaining for me running through a raid, seeing a dickhead hiding in a bush, you know, and I just sneak up behind him, fucking bang, they're dead. They're like, oh, what the fuck happened? Oh, mate, I've seen, I've seen you do whatever the fuck, make up a lie kind of thing. What he just said there was contradictory to a previous statement he made. Earlier, he claimed that if someone asks if he is a cheater, that he would simply admit to it. Now he's saying he would lie and try to cover it up. This was not the first or last time he did something similar to this. I actually noticed this lie immediately, hence the long pause and awkward response. Well, I, uh... That's interesting. Well... There was, one, there was one time I was running to Smuggler's Boat, and I was jumping through a bush, and I jumped on top of someone's head, and he thought I was cheating. Um, I didn't mean to jump on his head, but then I, I realized, I was like, there's no hill. I should be in the middle of a bush, and then I was just on top of someone's head, and I killed him. It was a great experience. So you don't get to have experiences like that if you cheat, you know? Like, oh, I, I get some of the weird fucking experiences of where I'm hiding just because I'm bored and I decide to hide in a bush and a random player just runs straight past me. I still get the thrill knowing that they haven't seen me, but I know exactly where they're fucking going. And I know what gun they're using and what ammo they're using. So if I, if I think I'm at all at a disadvantage, I will flick on fucking um, instant headshot. Oh, I shouldn't say instant headshot, but aimbot and aim to the head and... So do you normally legit cheat and then toggle on your aim locks, etc. when you, you, like you said, you're at a disadvantage? If I think the player is cheating, yes. Well, I can admit to rage hacking as well. If I get killed too many times in a row because I'm just running around trying to loot and fucking, you know, Billy Bob up the road decided to shoot me because he's a wank, you know? I get a bit annoyed about that. Gotcha. So I take my frustrations out and... Well, yeah. Is there anything I could say to you to to convince you to stop cheating? I mean, in Tarkov, no. There's nothing that can really convince any cheaters, really. Myself, for my speaking for myself, no, I can't. I don't see myself changing anytime soon about it. I find it too fun. Maybe in ten years' time, when I realize how much I've spent on it, yeah, I might look back and go, "Well, shit, I shouldn't have done that." You're already present day, looking back and thinking that you're going to regret something. I decision making skills likely. I'm pretty. Sh I'm not gonna lie there. What did you say was the most expensive cheat you purchased? How much money a month? Oh, my most expensive one was done by a private company. I don't know where they're from or where they're located. But I got given a um, an invite from a current member at the time. And I think I paid about 250 bucks a month for it. And it had all the fucking cheats you could possibly imagine. Everything you'd want for it. And I think it also came with a hatred spoofer. And they also gave you a couple of accounts for free. Oh, yeah. HWID spoofer. Gotcha. Yep. Yeah. That's basically how Tarkov bans you. Like, you can spend, I think, the cheapest one on the market is like two bucks. That, that's interesting. That's really interesting because I had a couple of different cheaters message me and, and tell me something around the lines of, oh, well, Tarkov doesn't hardware ban you. Oh, fuck Oats, they do. I can confirm they hardware ban you. Gotcha. I learned that the hard way after I went through three accounts in a day because I was like, oh, fuck, look, jump onto Battle States games, buy a, buy a new account, log into it on my computer again. Sorry, this account's been banned. Get the email five minutes later. Account's been banned. Buy another one. Account's been banned. Buy another one. Account's been banned. And it's kind of like, oh, fuck, I've actually been hardware banned. Gotcha. And so they'll let you spend that money is yeah, what you're they saying? They don't care. Oh. They don't care. You can... For the way I get around the um whole, you need to make infinite emails, you know, kind of thing. You think I have an infinite email, don't you? Or a website or something like that? I'm not sure what you're referring to. Oh, to be able to re-log on to Battle States games, you need an email, new password and shit like that. You don't need a phone yeah. number? No. You just need Are to Are you fucking email. kidding me? 
<laughs> no, they don't. They don't require anything other than a email address. You don't need infinite of them. At the, at the end of the day, you can just use a Gmail account and put plus whatever the fuck you want. You can make it one, a big dick one at the end of your current email. So let's just say your email is cob at gmail.com. You just yeah. put cob plus one at the end of it and you've got a new email according to servers. Yeah, that is... So at the end of the day, you don't need to make a lot of emails like all these cheaters will be telling you. If they say they have to make a new email, they don't know what the fuck they're doing. What other things do you have to do? Is that it? Just make a new email? Make make sure your hardware ID spoofer's on? And then you're good to go? Pretty much. You just re-log into it. If you buy it from another country, run a VPN to that country, log into it, then turn off the VPN and you can play the game. So, in that case, they don't IP ban you? Because no. you, you said you can turn your VPN off. Yeah, your VPN to Ukraine, buy it in Ukraine. And then once you come to the launcher, you log into the launcher, it'll send off a code to get your code back, you punch it in. And then once you have done that and you can actually press play or download, you just um, turn off your VPN, download it. Bob's your uncle, fans your aunt, you can play the game again. That's absurd. It should certainly IP ban you. It doesn't ban, it doesn't ban your card either. I can say that now. Your card? What do you mean? Your graphics card? Your GPU? No, your, uh, your credit card. You can use gotcha. your credit card 10 times over on that website and they won't even blink an eye. Are Maybe you... you're bankable for the fact that you're buying it out of country, you know? Is this a fucking joke? So you can just use the same debit or credit card information over and over again to purchase new Tarkov accounts? Yep, I've been using the same card for the past three years on the thing. That is... <laughs> that is so frustrating to no, hear. it's funny. They have, like, fuck all security in terms of um, bots coming in and buying out accounts and reselling them on other websites. They don't have anything against that. I have a I have a main account that I use to gift um, codes out to another account that I remake because you get a discount, you know, I like the little bit of money off the top. Wow. At your peak, how many Tarkov accounts have you gone through in a month? Oh, fuck it. My peak, this was when I was using a decent software and i was completely raging it i would go through an account every five days jesus yeah you're, you're throwing out these numbers man and uh, as someone who i can't help but be like just angry at you that you're you're living for free and that as someone who's had to work their entire life you know, 40 no, hours a I've, week, I've it's worked. frustrating. I've, I've done my fair share of work in, in different industries. I started off as a pig farmer, moved off to the um, apple grading for a company that I won't name, and then um, abattoirs, which I fucking hated, and eventually hurt myself, and I kind of said, you know, fuck you, I'm out. And then off into government subsidies. Gotcha. So you got an injury and then the government, so the government pays you monthly for an injury you received. How long ago was that? I think I did it when I was about 19 and a half. How old are you now? I am 23. So, I mean, it, again, I, I can't help but be frustrated. You, you were in the workforce for like three, five years. I was in it for about six years. In total? When when's the yeah. legal working age in Australia? Whatever age you want. If you know somebody like the pig farm, I personally knew them. They put me on just to start. And here you can do this. You can do that. Gotcha. So Pay so up. was that more? That Pay was more up. like under the table, though. You weren't paying any taxes or anything like that. No, until I turned eighteen, then I filed for a tax file number. And then they officially put me on the payroll. Gotcha. Okay. Even then, I was still earning under the um, government minimum requirements so i never actually got taxed so you're addicted you said um yep absolutely. So, so have you tried stopping i have i have i've stopped this month 
I think I've gone about a week now without doing anything on it. I haven't even touched Tarkov. I've done other games, obviously, but haven't touched Tarkov. Have you cheated in other games? Um, yeah, I could say yes. Thank you for being honest. I appreciate that, mate. You've already stopped cheating in Tarkov for a week. I can tell you from my own personal... I am fucking dying to get back onto that game, but I'm, I've got some other shit come up, so I, it's like I can't play Tarkov until it's sorted. Again, from personal, from personal experience, I, I can tell you that you improve in one game, you mechanically, you're also improving in other games. The only game I've played legit is RuneScape. That's that's the only one I can officially go. I've played legit on that because fucking. I mean, that's a how do. To me, cheating would get boring really quickly. A big part of Tarkov is getting gear. Once you have infinite gear, I doesn't it just get obnoxious at some point? Oh god, no. There's like always a low level out there that you might just see in a raid randomly doing their own thing and you just sneak up behind them, you tap them in the leg and fucking whatnot and you toss them some meds and a gun and they get really happy about it. Well, yeah, that would get boring. That, that as well would just get boring after. Like, what else can you do? I mean, after you, you hit your level 42 and, and you have all of your traders maxed and you yeah, basically... You've unlocked everything, you've done every quest and shit like that. If you think your account, account, account isn't going to get banned, you can always sell it off and there's going to be some dumb son of a bitch out there going, fuck, what is this? I don't need to spend, like, fucking... I don't know, let's think of a, a rough number. Let's say, like, 80 hours trying to unlock all of this shit. I can just pay for it. Gotcha. Do you make money off of this game? I mean, I, I know you don't just off of how much money you spend on cheats and, and all of that. Um, but, but how much money do you think you've made? I have made like 20 bucks at most. And that was selling, um, guns to players. What would... guns and a shit ton of ammo. Oh, okay. So, so you have done RMT before. Yep. Well, okay. Wasn't banned for it. I got away with it. Thankfully, because I only did it like once or twice, and it's like, well, this ain't really worth it. You know? Well, do you, is it common to get banned for RMTing? Um, I guess you I haven't done it enough. That side of it. Gotcha. I can, I would say yes, but I can't say no as well because I've done it, as you know, I only made 20 bucks out of it, and that was selling guns and ammo. Well, and okay. Going in the big backpack. How many people do you? play with I that are also cheating one. oh that are also cheating none i don't play with cheaters myself i know it's gotcha. hypocritical me saying i don't play with cheaters but eh, prefer playing with the like the high level guy that's pretty shit at the game who's struggling himself or playing with the level one that's just picked up the game it's like that kind of thing so this guy does he know you're a cheater Oh, God, no, I haven't admitted to it. I just fucking rush off into the raid and I come back five minutes later with loot and I go, hey, mate, fuck, look what I found for you. That's messed up, man. <laughs> Is this like a friend of yours? That would break his heart if I told him I was cheating because he looks up to me. He tries to fucking use the guns and shit that I use and whatnot. He really tries to become as, quote, unquote, as good as me. I feel bad for him. If he ever sees this... I just want to say, I'm sorry, mate. Really don't want you to hate me. We'll make sure we... You'll be entirely anonymous. So you don't know any other cheaters? Um... I think I only maybe knew one. Except he was a complete prick about it. He'd go out of his way to... wipe the entire server of everything. Of course. If it was living, it was dead. And I don't play the game like that. If it's... If there's a scav on a high rise, I just fucking walk past it because no point getting that extra XP. I, I, I already see what one's got in his inventory. Ah, okay. You can see people's inventory just by opening up just a by menu. Him. By looking at him. Yep. Um, for my cheat software, it tells me their health, what their gun is, 
the level of their armor, what ammo they're using, and the top three most expensive items they've got. And wow. I can filter out it from like one ruble out to five million rubles. And walk up to any door and basically unlock it. Or walk up to a wall and loot through it. You can walk up to any door and unlock it? Even on Shoreline, there are about, like as you know, half a dozen doors that you can't open physically because there's no locks, for, like no keys for them in game. I can just walk up to him, unlock it, hide in it, and fucking some poor cunt walks past, and I'm just like, boo, you're dead now. Oh my god, that sounds that sounds terrifying. Can you, so can you oh, open the, the door? That, I can open the door, walk into the room, and then shut it, and players don't look at the door because they know it's locked. And they know they can't unlock it. Do you play Shoreline often? I play Shoreline and Customs. Because they're the two maps that I really kind of like for the loot variants. Really? Like why PvP. customs? Why, why do you like customs so much? PvP. You can basically claim... I think I've claimed that I wiped a five-man just by looping around and they were just shit at the game. When in reality, I just basically switched out my aiming for my software. I just changed it out from headshot to body shot the arm shot and basically just did that and it's like well shit they look at their kill like they look at their death it'll say like fucking barry was shot in the head mike shot in the leg um timmy shot in the thorax and whatever else and they won't know well let's go back to shoreline so the colored key cards when you spawn into shoreline how often is there a colored key card on the map this weapon last up i think i found about four in total. That was every day for about 12 hours kind of thing. Sometimes less, like 8 to 12 hours. So you found four colored key cards in total? Yep. And if I didn't find, if I looked at the the through the map and I didn't find anything was worthwhile doing anything with, I just respawn back in. Or kill myself and then come back in, lower me KD with a grenade. Ah, gotcha. So, so you are incentivized to lower your KD. Is that a big reason why accounts oh, no, get banned? Having a low KD does nothing. You can have, really okay. Like, I think my current KD for one of my old accounts was like fifteen. Yeah, that's that's and, an insanely high KD. And I think I only got banned because um, I joined the Tarkov server where you can play with other players and they kind of caught on pretty quickly that, like, oh, this country is cheating. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then I was mid-raid and the fuckers just shot me in the back and said, oh, sorry, we thought you were somebody else. And that, that personally annoyed me quite a bit. That so annoyed I you? Pissed about that. I got pissed at the fact that I was shot in the back and they didn't, they didn't bother asking me anything. They just fucking killed me straight up. Well, I mean, I, w I would just say that's justice, not giving a cheater the time of the day. I mean, I, the majority of cheaters are just entirely unlikable douchebags that are impossible to talk to. You are an exception given, but maybe they didn't I, really know that. I try to be as friendly as I can with players in games and outside of games. I'm not going to fucking turn around and call you all the names under the sun and just try and destroy your YouTube career, basically. Anybody can do that. I'm not one of them because I don't give a shit. You have your opinions on me, but so does Bob up the road. Do I care about Bob up the road? No. You do understand that you, you were ruining the experience for... I mean, at this point, you've probably ruined the gaming experience for thousands of people. Does that give you joy? Does, does that make you happy to know that? I feel like a bit of a dick at times, but then again, I don't gotcha. really care if I ruin their experience. It doesn't sound like your integrity is entirely gone, man. I, I'm certain you can come back from this. I, I've had addictions in my life, real addictions. And, and I can tell you that this cheating problem you have is entirely beatable. And you can you can certainly just stop cheating and improve mechanically. I'm positive next month, mate, that I'm gonna get back onto Arkov and go. What? I uh, message a friend of mine that 
knows a couple of people and go, hey, can you fucking toss me a couple of invite invite codes for these private, private ones? And they'll be like, yeah, sure, give me like a couple of hours and fucking boom, I've already got 10 servers or not servers, but 10 sites I can buy off and 